Hi, welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we're going to begin our journey into differential equations. So here we are. Let's begin. So today we're going to just take a short introduction. Intro, an introduction to differential equations. The uh, differential equations. So differential equations is a lot to write out. So we're going to be talking about, I'm going to need an abbreviation. We'll use capital D, capital E for differential equation. And when there's more than one, we'll put an S after it. So that's my abbreviation for differential equation or differential equations. So the first thing is, what is a differential equation? And here it is, a differential equation Differential equation, differential, e oops, I don't need to write it twice, it's silly. A differential equation relates an unknown function, an, un an unknown function, an unknown function and we're going to normally just use our function will be denoted as y of t and sometimes we'll, we won't even write the of t and I'll explain that in a little bit. A differential equation it's an unknown function y of t and its derivatives and its derivatives and its derivatives. So for that could be its derivatives could be obviously there'd be y prime of t you could have a first derivative. It could have a second derivative, y double prime of, of t. It could even have a third derivative. Now, this b gets a little crazy when you start using three apostrophes there. And so another way when you have higher order derivatives, like a tenth order derivative, is you write it as y of, and you raise it in parentheses, three of t. That would be another way of writing the third derivative. And if you were to keep going, you could write um, you could write the, whoops, let me clear that up. You could write the fourth derivative of t. And you could write, it could have all the way up to n, n derivatives. So the nth derivative, y, n of t. And that's what, that's what it is. That's what a differential equation is. Now, another thing is, is the order, the order, of a differential equation of a differential equation is that of the highest derivative the highest derivative okay so what we're going to, let's take a look here at a couple examples of some first order differential equations. Uh, um, before I do that though, let's do this. Uh, notation. Y, Y of T is, Y of T, now Y of T is also going to be written sometimes as very just simply Y. We don't write the of T, it's going to be implied. In the same way, if you just have X, it's the same as one times X. So Y of T is the same as just as writing Y. Um, and Y of T, or just Y, is the dependent variable the dependent variable and t is the independent variable. Independent variable. Okay, that's the notation we're going to be using at least to get started and if we, as we uh, have, as the need arise, we'll come up with some additional notation. Now let's take a look at some first order examples. So I'm gonna need a little bit of space. So uh, let's come over here and let's take a look at some first order, oops, some first order examples. So first, first order 
differential equations examples. Okay, so the kind of the example of all examples is this one. It says that the derivative dy dt, so the derivative of the function y with respect to t is very simply equal to y. Or sometimes you could write this as y of t. We'll, we'll go back and forth just so you get used to it, so, or just y. Um, so that we'll call that equation number one. Another example, equation two, would be... Uh, how about how about this? dy dy dt equals minus y. Equation number three. Let's equation number three. How about another example? Is dy dy dt equals oh how about this? Two times t times y. And let's take one more look. Equation number four is dy dt, dy dt equals y squared. Now, notice this. These, we say a differential equation is linear in y, meaning that it can, it can have y to the zero, meaning we've taken no derivative. It can have y to the first, the first derivative, we have the second derivative, and so on. Okay, this these are this is a linear, this is a linear, a lin a linear differential equation. So it's just higher orders of derivatives, but what it does not include is a linear differential equation. So let's see this, a linear differential equation. does not, whoops, <laughs> does not include, include y raised to some power n, not the nth derivative, but the nth power. So if we think of it that way, what I've just told you is that we have is equation differential equations one, two and three are, well, we already said they're first order, so they're first order, first order linear, linear different, linear differential equations in y, okay? Uh, equation four, number four is not, not linear, okay? So, Different, different examples will require different solving strategies. Now, let's look at a few things. So let's go back to, say I have a problem. Say the problem is two times x plus one equals seven. Now, this is not very hard. What if I was just to write down this? What if I just boldly said that this gives me the answer, the answer, of x is equal to 3. How would I check that? Well, we check that by plugging x, we check by plugging x back into the original equation. So we check, so we'd say 2 times, plug in the 3, plus 1, well this is 2 times 3, that's 6, plus 1 more, which is 7, which is exactly what we had to show. So um, this so, x equals 3 is the solution. Well, what if I was to tell you something more interesting? What if I told you that for equation 1, so let's take a look at equation 1, the solution, what if I told you the solution is y equals e raised to the t. How in the world would you check to see if your work is correct? Well, let's see what we have. Equation number one says this. It was a differential equation that says that the derivative with respect to t is equal to y. Well, let's check. So here's how we would check. 
So I'm going to start with the equation y equals e to the t. Now this is going to be, might seem like a little overkill at first, but I, I think seeing the notation helps to understand the process. It's easy to go too fast. So apply the derivative to both sides. So I'm going to apply the derivative with respect to t on the left side. And I'm going to apply the derivative with respect to t on the right side, e to the t. Well, d, d, the derivative of y with respect to t, that's just dy dt. And then the derivative with respect to t of e to the t, I'm going to be really careful here. Notice that this is the derivative of e to the t. That's just e to the t. Then we have to take times the derivative with respect to t. This is the chain rule times t. Well, the derivative of t with respect to t is just 1. And so my right-hand side is just e to the t. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is where you have to look a little bit deeper to see if that's your solution. Well, what is e to the t? Right there it says that e to the t is in fact y. So wait a minute, so I can just say now that dy, I think I'm on the bottom of my screen. Let me write it over here. So now I can say that dy dt is equal to y. So this is a solution. And that's how we check. So let's go to the next page, and we're going to try to uh, solutions and, pr and to show that these are solutions to equations 2, 3, and 4. All right, so, so now let's do this. 2. I'm going to propose that my solution is y equals e raised to the minus t. So let's check. Here we go. We're going to check number two, check. So let's apply the derivative to both sides. So the derivative with respect to t of y. And we're going to take the derivative with respect to t of e to the minus t. Well, on the left-hand side, we have that dy dt equals, now the derivative of e to the minus t. So that's going to be e to the minus t, and then the chain rule says, whoops, the chain rule says that we also have to take the derivative with respect to t of the exponent minus t. This is going to give me dy dt equals, well, the equals minus 1. So this is just a minus e to the minus t. Okay, well, wait a minute. This is, but e, this is minus e to the minus t. Well, wait a minute, what is e to the minus t? That's y. So in other words, this is the same as dy dt equals minus y. And there it is. It worked. That is a solution. OK, number three. Number three says, I'm going to give you my solution. Let's do or this solution in a different color. This is probably a yellow solution. So let's try a yellowy color, kind of a gold. Number three solution. Solution is y equals e raised to the t squared. And don't worry, we'll learn how to solve these soon enough. But for now, we just need to know if we've even got our solutions correct. Uh, so let's try this. So I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. Well, we know we're going to have dy dt on the left-hand side. And let's take the derivative on the right-hand side as well. So the derivative with respect to t of e raised to the t squared. Well, this is going to be e to the t squared times, according to the chain rule, we have to take the derivative with respect to t of the t squared. Well, the derivative with respect to t of t squared is 2t. So now I have, I'm going to write it th that first. So 2t times e to the t squared. But wait a oh, but look at this. This is e to the t squared, e to the t squared. If I grab a, this pretty blue color, e to the t squared right here, that's y. So in other words, this problem can be written as 2 times t times y equals dy d. 
dt. And look at that. This is right where we needed to finish. That's the original problem. Okay, so that number three also is a solution. Let's run one more check. Let's do this check in this blue. So number four, how about our solution? Solution is y equals one over one minus t. And I shouldn't say this is all, this, actually there's more solutions and we'll see that soon enough, but this is one solution. So let's check. So I'm gonna write this as the derivative. We'll take the derivative of both sides of y on the left, and then we're gonna take the derivative with respect to t of one over one minus t. Now I'm gonna write that in a little easier way, at least for me, I'm gonna write this as, well on the left-hand side we have d, uh, on the left-hand side, I'm gonna run out of space if I'm not careful. So on the left-hand side I have dy dt, equals, on the right hand side, I'm going to write this as the derivative with respect to t of, um, I'm going to write this as 1 minus t to the negative 1. Okay. Well, the derivative of that is very simply minus 1 times 1 minus t. Now we have, remember, we have to take the derivative of what was in parentheses, so I'll write that, derivative with respect to t of one minus t. Well, this is going to give me um, this piece right here is minus one. And I have another minus one out in front. You multiply those, that gives you a positive one. And so we can say that the derivative of y with respect to t is very simply, oh, whoops, I forgot to reduce my power. That should be minus two, is equal to, 1 minus t raised to the minus 2. Oh, but look at that. This is 1 over uh, 1 minus t squared. Well, that does not look like it matched up. But what if I take it one more step? What if I th remember that this is 1 over 1 minus t times 1 minus t. But this is the same as 1 over, or I could write it 1 times 1, but that's 1 over 1 minus t times 1 over 1 minus t. Well, 1 minus t, 1 minus t right here, that is y. So this is the same as saying the equation is equal to, is equal to, uh, y times, so dy dt is equal to y times y, which is very simply y squared. And look at that, dy dt equals y squared. That is a solution to number four. Welcome to Differential Equations. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.